Whoa, this came out of nowhere. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing surprise triple a big game announcement but before we get to the news items a couple of dope news items for this video give it a thumbs up like 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 destroy the like button right now if you're not subscribed subscribe right now all right an all new exclusive PlayStation 5 game was just announced. Abandoned. Abandoned is the name of the game. It is a quote unquote photorealistic um, 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 horror, first person horror type game. And made by Blue Box Game Studios. And it's coming out this year. That's right. Game is coming out this year. Uh, PlayStation has a whole um, um, article on it on their blog, blog.playstation.com. It says it's going to have realistic character interaction, story development, immersion through the DualSense wireless controller. Uh, this is the official tra um, trail, not trailer, but first glimpse of the game on PlayStation's official YouTube channel. Talks about it's going to be utilizing the power of the um, PS5 will be 4K, 60 frames per second. So, cannot wait. And uh, to get a more uh, accurate date on when it's coming out, the, um, Sony is saying it's coming as a PlayStation 5 exclusive quarter 4, 2021. So huge, huge, huge game announcement. Can't wait to see more information on the game. I have to keep it a buck though. Never been a real big fan of um, horror type games, but let's see what how this game unfolds. Now, there was an original uh, rumor thinking that this game was Hideo Kojima's secret game, but it's not. Speaking of Hideo Kojima, another big rumor. Now, this is a rumor, so take this with a grain of salt. The rumor is... Xbox is in negotiations trying to buy the publishing rights to Hideo Kojima's next uh, next game. Now, this would be a big shakeup because Hideo Kojima has long been associated with Sony. Going back to the Metal Gear series, um, originally associated with Sony and even as of late, Death Stranding was a PlayStation 4 console, console exclusive. And so Xbox is in talks. We don't know if this is in talks to not make the next game another Sony exclusive and also have the game on Xbox to have it as a Game Pass game or just a flat out Xbox exclusive in the Xbox ecosystem. But keep your eyes peeled. And many are saying that this was hinted back um, at a, a one of Xbox's past presentations on um, um, Phil Spencer's desk behind him, there was a statue of uh, the Death Stranding character that fans have pointed out. So, would be would be interesting. Um, can't wait to see how all of this unfolds. 2021 is shaping up to be interesting. But here's my thing, and what I kept saying. This. Uh, abandoned game is coming out this year playstation 5 exclusive this hideo kojima game it seems like it's going to be a couple years out and one of the reasons why i've been like what's up with xbox 
because a lot of these games announcements studio acquisitions are for about three four years down the road but sony is giving us games right now and they're going to continue to keep give us games why i'm still satisfied with my ps5 um i don't know when i'll get an xbox series x if i'll even get one this generation but i have to tell y'all the news should be should be interesting to see how things unfold next news item since we're talking about horror games a new resident evil village gameplay more gameplay will debut next week we just got this gameplay this is courtesy of ign um action in within a cellar and a new demo might be on the way now previously um sony and the playstation 5 had an exclusive demo before but it was more so of just giving you um uh, you there wasn't any action you were just touring seeing how the art style of the game how the game ran on the ps5 but it's rumored that this next demo will actually be gameplay shooting getting the bad guys the zombies whatever the monsters whatever they're called and so um stay tuned stay tuned for more resident evil village information coming out this next week the game launches in about a month and so it does make sense for a uh, a demo to come out to convince you to get the game i don't know why if if developers are confident in their games demos only help to convince point an example outriders outriders the demo is what sold me after playing the outriders demo i was like oh this game is lit bro and i'm enjoying outriders all right next news item bro 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 there is a rumor that more zelda more zelda remakes are on the way this is coming through jeff grubb a reliable reliable source my video is stuck in perpetual rotation but um jeff grubb he's a reliable leaker in the past and he's saying he referenced that more zelda remakes are on the way and it sort of does make sense this is um, nintendo's 35th year anniversary for zelda they've already done the whole mario thing but i hope they put more of an effort for zelda which i doubt if they didn't do it for mario their main mascot i don't know what they'll do for zelda for example skyward sword great game i love the game but it's pretty much the same exact game it looks the same and we're going to be charged 60 bucks to play this to play this game when you think of what xbox is doing for example backwards complete backwards compatibility all their old ips for free free upgrade uh, on their uh, xbox series x and so nintendo definitely has some work to do i've always felt they just always been behind the game when it comes to things like this their online infrastructure i could go on and on but we're not going to but more zelda remakes are on the way so be prepared to spend 60 dollars each remake <laughs> All right, and the last news item, I thought this was pretty dope. Uh, Streets of Rage DLC, Streets of Rage 4 DLC is coming. Uh, Mr. X Nightmare DLC will add new characters, a survival mode, and more. Streets of Rage 4 was a dope, dope, dope game. A dope remake. Bro, I was a Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo kid, but I had a Sega Genesis, Sega CD, 32X. I had it all. And Streets of Rage was one of my favorite, favorite games. And good to see that a remake is on the way all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things game bro we out peace you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me i gotta hook you up that's right i'm giving away a 60 dollar digital code every month for your platform of choice xbox nintendo or playstation two ways to enter one make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on youtube two follow me on twitter at ob1 plays and that's it you're in for the giveaway but wait there's more do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with
prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.